Okay, so in this video, we'll be going over the Favorites app and how it works. The Favorites app can be found within the App Launcher menu within the End User Apps section. Clicking on the Favorites tile brings up three options. The first one closes the tile, the second one allows you to add a new favorite, and the third one allows you to remove an existing favorite. Favorites can be saved for any application or context that the user would like to preserve or have quick access to. Think of adding favorites similar to the way you would add a bookmark in your browser. Okay, so let's start by creating a simple favorite. Let's say we want to save something that will get us quick access to a specific piece of equipment's graphic. As you can see, it takes about three to four steps to navigate down to my boiler and open up the graphic. So with favorites, we can make it so that it's just one click away. Once you've arrived to the view that you'd like to save as a favorite, simply open up the app launcher menu, select the favorites app and click on the add option. This will bring up a form which will allow you to type in a title, select from a list of icons, and also allows you to choose whether you want it to be at the root level or under an existing favorites folder, which we will go over in the next example. Okay, so once you've added your favorite, you will now have a brand new tile to represent the favorite in the app launcher, conveniently placed at the top of the menu for quick and easy access. To demonstrate its effectiveness, let's go back to the top page. And now when I click on the new boiler favorite, you can see that it instantly takes me back to that view and even preserves the view's original context in the navigation. As I mentioned earlier, the Favorites app also allows you to create a folder and then allows you to add favorites within that folder. This becomes extremely beneficial when using the mobile interface or when you have a large amount of favorites that are similar to each other as it allows you to minimize the amount of tiles in the app launcher's favorites section. So let's use our AHU as an example. Let's start off by adding in a main folder called AHUs. We can now go ahead and begin populating that folder with favorites that bring up our various AHU graphics, summaries, and basically anything that pertains to that or anything that we'd like to add within that folder. The only difference in this case is that when we are adding in a new favorite, we simply select the correct folder that we want it to go under as opposed to choosing the root level option. As you can see, once the favorite is added within the AHU's folder, and now appears as a submenu option within the main tile itself. So in this case, I'm just going to do a few A2 graphics to demonstrate a basic scenario that utilizes the folder concept. Once we're done, adding in our A2 views as favorites, we'll be able to access them at any time we need. All right, so so far we've demonstrated creating favorites using a lot of graphics as the examples. But as we mentioned earlier, favorites are basically a shortcut to any application view or any context that you were at when you created it. So for example, let's say we wanted to have quick access to a specific schedule. All you have to do is set up the view you'd like to store and save it as a favorite. Now that I have it saved as a favorite, I can access this schedule at any time with just a few clicks. Not only does this work for schedules, but it also works for any app such as O&M manuals, the historian, notes, alarms, overrides, point graphics, and summaries just to name a few. If at any time you need to remove a favorite, all you have to do is go into the favorites app, select the remove option, and then select which favorite you'd like to remove. All right, so those are all the basics on how to utilize the Favorites app to create, customize, and gain quick organized access to any favorite views within your project. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you'd like to keep up with the latest FinStack content, please feel free to subscribe to the channel below. And thanks for watching.